So for this next one, we've got 4 times the quantity 2.5 raised to the 2.x, or not 2.x, just 2x. Sometimes I think I should just stop talking and just do the math. Um, so I got to solve for x, right? They want us to solve for x. Now remember, when we solve for x, we basically want to undo what's being done to the x um, and isolate the x, get the x by itself and all the other stuff on the other side. So one way to do that is I'm going to move this 4 away. 4 is technically being multiplied by all this stuff. So to move it over to the other side, I'm going to do the inverse operation, which is divide. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times all of this stuff is the stuff. And then 4 divided by 4 is 1 again. Now, from here, remember that b to the um, n is equal to m, right? And the relationship between that and the log is that the log base b um, of m is equal to n. So I can convert this to the log base 2.5, right, of 1. Just make sure I'm getting this right. Oh, no, 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 no. So, so this is B, right? This is N. So this is going to be equals 2X. And then my M is uh, just 1. And so this may seem confusing, but the truth is, is that while this is a little confusing, this is actually a number, right? So I can plug this in a calculator and get a number. Now, if you have a cheap calculator, um, you have to do like a conversion thing. So another property of logs, I shouldn't say cheap because even the expensive calculators, you have to do this. But if you have a cheap calculator, this will help. Remember that log base B of um, M can be plugged into any calculator by just doing this conversion factor of log of m over log of b, or you could say the natural log of m divided by the natural log of b. So in other words, in order to plug this into my calculator, um, uh, I'm just going to plug in, I'm going to say the natural log of 1 uh, divided by the natural log of 2.5. And that gives me a number, which is 0. Now, the natural log of 1 is 0, so I knew it was going to be 0 anyway. So that's the right answer. That's a legitimate answer. Um, that might throw some students off. But zero is a number just like the rest of the numbers. So I'm still going to complete the process, though. So I got to I select the x. So I do that by dividing both sides by two. Two goes into zero zero times. Believe it or not, that's the answer. And that makes sense when you think about it, right? Anything raised to the zero power gives you one. We really didn't even need to do all this natural log stuff, right? But the answer is zero. Okay.